son of a Bridgeport bus driver demanding justice tonight after he says his mother was brutally attacked by a passenger who was upset after initially missing the bus. Frank Recchia has this exclusive report. Where is the humanity, you know? Even though 33-year-old Axel Colon of Bridgeport has muscular dystrophy and has been in a wheelchair since the age of 12, he still considers himself to be very lucky and on a good path in life, thanks to his parents seen here on their 45th wedding anniversary. I owe them being alive, you know? I have a mother and father, but, you know, the mother's bond, that's different. Axel telling us he's especially close to his mom, 59-year-old Sandra Diaz, who's not only his primary caregiver. My mother is my everything. She's been a GBT bus driver for the past 20 years. I'm still in shock about what happened to her. What took place in front of this business on Main Street around 5 o'clock Friday afternoon, he says, has left him reeling. My mother was brutally beaten. Police say this man, 35-year-old bus passenger Adrian Carter, physically attacked his mom by grabbing her, pulling her off the bus, kicking her to the ground, and then assaulting her for several minutes. A woman Axel describes as a generous and gentle-hearted humanitarian. I believe that's what hurts me the most, you know? Because my mom, she's, she's a lovely lady, you know, and she didn't deserve this. This is a Class C felony. This is the same as assaulting a police officer. Greater Bridgeport Transit CEO Doug Holcomb says there's no walking back this kind of attack, especially when the victim is a beloved member of the GBT family, someone for whom he personally wants justice. The most important message is cherish the drivers and take care of the drivers because they've been out there through the pandemic. This particular operator has been with us 20 years, a well-liked operator, you know, in the community. I have cardiac issues. Axel says it would do his heart good if GBT would consider adding a security guard to every bus. He says his mom was treated at St. Vincent's Medical Center for a concussion, a broken finger, and contusions all over her body. He grabs her, he throws her out the bus, she hits herself against a metal pipe. I've never seen my mom in so much pain. Holcomb telling us each bus has a dozen cameras and GBT safety protocols are extensive. The things that we put in place are designed to be a deterrent, uh, to prevent it, to be a physical barrier between the driver. But Axel says he will never get over, no matter what, the terror of learning his mother was brutally beaten in the workplace in broad daylight. I, I don't want my mom to go back to work, to be honest. In Bridgeport, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut. Carter's bond is set at $5,000, and there were passengers who did rush over to help Sandra during that attack.